a family budgeted $7,825 for food and clothing, and then $2,860 for entertainment during a year. The yearly income for the family was $38,283. Well, question A, how much of this income remained after the two expenses? Well, it looks like we're gonna take the total income, well, that's money that the family received, so that's, let's use green for that. So the income, money coming in, was the 38,283. And then there were two expenses. There was an expense of 78.25 for food and clothing, and there was an expense of 28.60 for entertainment. So if we want the remaining income, it looks like that is telling us to subtract. Take the money coming in, which was the income, and subtract the money going out, which were the expenses. And it looks like there's two expenses here, so I'll, I'll stick with red for the expenses. If we take the 78.25 and then we add to that the 28.60, it looks like the total expenses would be $10,685. So if we take the income, which was the 38 to 83 and we subtract from that the two expenses which give a total of 10,685 now you could have subtracted the two expenses separately I chose to add them up and then subtract the one number either way we would get to the same answer and this is dollars and, and this is dollars so our final answer is going to be dollars and if we subtract these two numbers according to the calculator we will get 27,000 Five hundred ninety-eight dollars left over. Okay, and then for Part B, if the family wants to save four thousand nine hundred and twenty dollars for a vacation in two years, how much should they save per month? Now, the first thing that jumps out at me for Part B is that we have the word years. But we also have the word months. So we really don't want to work with two different units of time. We don't want to work partly in years and partly in months. So what I'm going to do in, in, in any case, any situation where you have years and months in the same problem, you want to consider if, if you should do this. What I'm going to do is let me just get rid of the highlighting. I'm going to I'm going to cross out the two years and I'm going to replace that with 24 months. Two years is, well, one year is 12 months, so two years is 24 months. So this is actually very similar to the last problem, problem number three, where you're taking one, uh, one big thing and splitting it up into smaller things. So in, in this case, we're taking this one big dollar amount And we want to split it up 24 ways. We want to take that total we need and split it up over 24 months. And any, like, I, like I explained in, in problem number three in the previous video, anytime you're taking one big thing and splitting it up into smaller things, you want to divide. So we're going to take the $4,920 and we're going to divide that by 24. And if we divide these two numbers, again, this is according to the calculator, we get $205 per month. Okay, so problem number three and problem number four sound completely different at first glance, but at least part B of problem four, but it turns out they're, they're basically the same general type of problem that, that like I said, that situation where you're taking one big thing and splitting it up into smaller things. Okay, so that should do it for this problem.